Well, as promised, uh, I'm here to review the piston. So I made mention a couple times that there that Nipper Racing came out with a new piston. This is a, this is pretty much a GSR. It's a P72 piston, uh, but now these are stronger and floating for turbo. See, Honda turbo piston sets. So Nippon Racing has been pretty good about moving along with the, with the technology and whatnot. Jesse has been putting his input in over there. I mean, he's pretty deeply rooted and entangled in the racing community. So of course he knows what people are doing. And now it's been the trend to tune with higher compression. Now that's been my, my stance for the longest time since back, uh, I think back in 2014, as far back as I was talking about it with using compressions closer to stock instead of dropping all the way down to the eights or the nines. Anyway, um, P72, this, ne this isn't necessarily the best option to turbo with a B20, although it's not really bad. But the PR3, or the PR, I mean the PR4 pistons that come from the LS, if you use those in the B20, it gives you the compression that I would normally go with. If you use the P72s in the, in the B20, I think it gives you like 11 to 1 with a B16 head, and probably like 11 3 with, um, with a GSR, which is considerably high. Now, if you look at the H22, which comes in a stock at 11 to 1 with some of the blocks, and if you look at the K-Series, which is stock 11 to 1, and people have all kinds of uh, great results with those for boost, it's not necessarily super high, but, you know, as regard in regards to the B-Series, it's what it is kind of on the higher side, and generally speaking, even with the K-Series, I tend to use 10.5 when I'm going with forged pistons, although that may change down the line. Of course, it also depends on how, how high of horsepower you're shooting for, but uh, anyway... <clears throat> P72s and 81 millimeter. If you use those with the, uh, the B16 head, it is 10 5 to 1, which is a smack dab on the compression I would uh, recommend. And if you use it with a GSR head, it is 10 7. So, um, yeah, uh, the old style pistons are the PR4 pistons, I think is like 998 uh, to 1 if you use a P16 and like 10.03 or 10.01, something around that range if you use GSR head. So it's not necessarily low compression as compared to low compression style from like the White Coast and Boys from back in the day. But this is still uh, the recommended piston I'm going to be going with. So from now on, if you get a budget turbo B series for me, the P72 is going to be my default pistons unless for some reason you decide to go the uh, with the old style, like if you if it's by request. Which I'm not gonna, you know, so, you know, when you come to me for a budget, uh, turbo build under 500 horsepower, it's always nip and racing pistons with scat rods. But now, uh, instead of the PR4 pistons being the default, which, you know, we just called them nip and racing turbo pistons. Now we have nip and racing turbo pistons that are higher compression of the P72. So, uh, these are the ones I'm gonna be going with from now on. Um, this block is probably gonna be coming together this weekend and it's already completely paid for. So it's one of those things where I just got to assemble, wrap, and ship. And then, um, yeah. So I'll be doing a lot more of these in the future. And uh, that's it. Just a quick, quick little overview of what this is nowadays and what, uh, what the compression is. And peace. Thanks for watching.